Okay, so we're gonna do the anatomy of the spinal cord. All right, so come on over here. When we look at the spinal cord, on this particular model, we can tell what the anterior versus the posterior is because we can see the body of the vertebrae in front and the spinous process in back. So that tells us posterior or dorsal versus anterior and ventral. And so let's look at the actual spinal cord. We'll start inside first. You've got the gray matter inside the spinal cord here and then the white matter, okay? Now, on the, the gray matter, you have anterior horns or ventral horns, and you have dorsal horns or posterior horns, okay? Right in the center, you have the central canal. And then we know a fissure is a deep groove and a sulcus is a shallow groove. This is the posterior median sulcus, and then the deeper groove on the anterior side is the anterior median fissure. Now the white stuff that's covering the spinal cord here, that's called the pia matter. And then we're gonna go outside of that, okay? This is the subarachnoid space. And then we have this right here is the arachnoid matter, okay? Not the line on the, above the line there. The line itself is called the subdural space. And then on the other side of that line right here, we have the dura matter. Outside of the dura mater, we have epidural space. Epi means upon, so this is the epidural space in here with the fat and blood vessels, okay? And so um, let's go back to the spine here. We're gonna have roots that come off of the spine, so we have to know which side we're on. We already said this is the dorsal side. So this is the ventral or anterior root. This is the dorsal or posterior root. And then if we go here, and I'll tilt this a little bit, the dorsal root is going to become a collection of uh, nerve cell bodies right there called the dorsal root ganglion. And then when the ventral and dorsal roots merge, they're gonna become a spinal nerve called a mixed spinal nerve because they're gonna have both contributions from dorsal and ventral uh, roots. And then when it branches from there and goes anterior, we have the ventral rami. And when it goes posterior, we have the dorsal rami. Okay. That takes care of this model. We're going to actually look at some of this stuff on the other model. Just run through it very, very quickly just to get a different view. Now, how do we know what anterior versus posterior is here? Well, we know that that's the dorsal root ganglion, so everything on this side is go or this half right, is going to be the dorsal. So we have, let's go here. We've got the uh, dorsal um, horn. We have the ventral horn, right, with the gray matter being green on this model. And then we have the white matter. On the center, we have the central canal anterior median fissure, posterior median sulcus. We have the dorsal root, the ventral root, dorsal root ganglion, when they come together, our mixed spinal nerve. Going posteriorly, we have posterior dorsal rami, anterior or ventral rami here. And then that kind of takes care of this model. That's the spinal cord. If you have any questions, let me know. See you next time.